my name is Tran Dinh Minh Huy. In Vietnamese, uh, they normally call me Huy. I'm currently a practicing ophthalmologist at Hyen Eye Care and a lecturer at the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I've been also recently been awarded a PhD degree at the University of New South Wales in 2022 in vision science. After 10 years since the completion of my residency in ophthalmology, my current position at Hyen Eye Care allow me to treat patients, to perform eye surgeries, and also conducting clinical research. Currently, my research interest is about myopia and myopia control, as I'm also currently the head of myopia program at High Eye Care, with the great interest in aspect of myopia and myopia control in children. I have a chance in collaborating in a few international clinical research. As the role of a lecturer in the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Ho Chi Minh City, and the visiting lecturer in the Department of Optometry at the Pham Ngoc Hat Medical University. Uh, that allowed me to teach medical students, ophthalmology resident and optometry student, which may contribute in the development of eye care in Vietnam in the future. That's a great story of my life. I am a clinician living and working in Vietnam a country in Southeast Asia where myopia prevalence is increasing at a high pace and where the, the resource in conducting research is quite limited. I realized that there was a lack of awareness about the burden of myopia and the importance of myopia control in children in my country. In addition, Practitioners in Vietnam also need further support in terms of experience in conducting clinical research and assessing public international publications and research infrastructures. Therefore, participating in the Developing Country Eye Researcher Fellowship program was a great opportunity to, for me to connect and to learn from the peers and the experts worldwide, as well as enhance my knowledge of myopia management and other aspects of ophthalmology. Moreover, it encouraged and strengthened me in pursuing my goal of developing a standard of care and clinical research for myops, especially in my country, Vietnam. I do believe that the knowledge that I have learned from the events relating to my research interests could significantly improve the current treatment protocols in our eye community and help me to establish the connection with the expert in the vision science of the world. During the meeting, I spent most of my time over the poster session where I found significant research information that impressed my attention, including the three most important areas that I would focus on. The first, the regular correlation between the change in axial length and progression of spherical equivalent. Second one is the novel update on the site of action and the mechanisms of atropine on the eyes for myopia management. And the third is the report of clinical data on the efficacy on novel optical treatment for myopia management. Moreover, as a DCRF award recipient, I had a chance to meet and collaborate with my excellent mentor, Dr. Shigeo Tamiya from Ohio State University and other mentors, including Dr. Malinda Fishran and Professor Sayoko Moroi, who try their best to guide me and other mentees through the meeting with the most fruitful result possible. Lastly, the most inspirational part of the event to me was the speech of the featured speaker, Kimberly Mueller. During the Weaver event on May 3rd, the speech inspired me to keep following the goals that sometimes could be impossible to be reached in our current circumstances. It was my pleasure to meet and collaborate with Dr. Shigeo Tamiya from Ohio State University, Dr. Malinda Fisheran and Professor Sayoko Moroi. I really appreciate their guidance and their time with the poster 
and their support during the meeting, especially their advice in my research career pathway. As a mentor, Dr. Shigel Tamiya gave me a chance to meet him via Zoom call in advance for the introduction and some advice for my convenient preparation for AVO. During the meeting, Dr. Tamiya guided me through his poster and the other poster on my research interest, in addition to the comments from his experience. He introduced me to other experts to help me on further networking, and that's also the chance in my research career. I do appreciate his effort and his kite health before, during, and even after the AVO 2022. There are so many things that I take from this AVO, but I think that especially I found so much interesting research results which related to my research interest that I have a chance to talk about previously. Moreover, I think that the most takeaway part for me is the experience uh, where I can discuss and I can argue with the critical comments from other experts in the field of myopia, myopia control, and also vision science. In the coming year, I hope that I will be able to attend AVO again, meet more talented colleagues, and build further collaboration with uh, my friends and my colleagues, and also the other experts, the other mentors, Eventually, I could bring my ideas to create and represent another poster about a promising result from one of our clinical research, which is uh, carried out in Vietnam. One of the other things that I would like to say that I was inspired a lot when attending to our meeting this year. I believe that in the roles of the lecturer and clinician, I can share my vision and knowledge with other ophthalmologists and optometrists in Vietnam, where the resource of research is quite limited. Moving forward, our meeting also helped me so that I can pursue my ambition to establish an educational program for eye care professional, especially on myopia and my myopia management in my country and consequently establish the high standard of care for myopia, but accessible to everyone. For me, AVO is one of the greatest association in the field of the eye and vision research, which support the young researcher and the ones who has limited support in research to pursue their dream. I believe that as applying DCERF is a great choice for the new membership and the new AVO member as a research in the developing country to start their key steps in the research career pathway.